A lot of parents and kids happy about this. Pawtucket students will have their chance to return to the classroom for the first time in nearly one year. Yeah, the city of Pawtucket, the only school district to stay fully remote since last spring. Kate Walsh is live in studio with more on how this decision was made. Kate? Well, it was just last month that the school committee had voted to stay virtual for the time being, but after so much outcry from the community, particularly from parents and teachers, they reversed that decision last night with all seven voting unanimously in favor of giving families the option now to return to in person learning. So here's what happens next. Based on a plan pitched by the superintendent, Dr. Cheryl McWilliams, grades one through six will return to in person learning starting March 1st. Then middle school, grades seven and eight, will return March 15th. High school, goes hybrid some days in person, some days at home starting March 29th. We also heard from the Pawtucket Teachers Alliance President Ron Beaupre, who said they approved the return of elementary schools, but they're calling for a review of the safety measures for middle school, and they do not believe that social distancing can be achieved safely at the high school level. Therefore, our professional opinion is that the most educationally sound approach for the high school students at this time is the distance learning instructional model and a return to in person instructional model would jeopardize the health and safety of our high school students and staff. The school committee's vote came after two hours of public input, largely from parents and teachers who described how students are falling behind and how the teachers are having to teach students how to use their computer on top of the lessons. In the next half hour, you'll hear from the state education commissioner about her hopes for this district now. Live in the studio, I'm Kate Walsh, 12 News. Starting March the 1st, all school districts in Rhode Island are going to be back to some form of in-person learning. You may remember that Pawtucket is the last district to remain fully remote throughout the pandemic, but that did change last night. And Kate Walsh is joining us live in studio with more on what the school committee's plan is to get the kids back to class. Well, many of us won't soon forget Governor Raimondo saying last March that schools would be temporarily closed when the pandemic hit. What started as an experiment of going to virtual learning turned into weeks and then nearly a year in Pawtucket. But at last night's school committee meeting, the members voted unanimously to start allowing kids and teachers back in the classroom. Elementary school will be first on March 1st. Families of students in grades one through six have the option of returning. Then March 15th will be sixth and seventh grade and March 29th. High schoolers will start on a hybrid model. For months, you've heard the frustrations from the state urging Pawtucket to open up, as every other district has. Education Commissioner Angelica Infante Green spoke to 12 News right before the meeting yesterday, saying they provided the city with all the purification systems every other district got. And now it's it's up to the community at this point. It really is up to the community. We're here to help. We're here to support. Um, but every community is open, so I really hope that Pawtucket does the right thing for the kids. It's one of the districts that we were worried about that was struggling before the pandemic. So. All right, you know, Kate, so now that this district is planning to go back mm -hmm. in person, the teachers union, though, still has some hesitation. And what are their remaining concerns about going back? Well, the Teachers Alliance, the union president, Ron Beaupre, said that in the high school level, they just don't have the room in their high school to allow 20 to 30 students to socially distance throughout the day, being at least six feet apart. So they're concerned that it won't really fit in with the mitigation plans and that they'll be able to stay safe. So right now it's a hybrid model to return to high school starting March 29th, but we'll have to see. All right. And Kate, you will, of course, stay on top of the developments for us. We'll bring you the latest as it happens. Pat?